Hi, today we will talk about the cause, diagnosis and treatment options of Alice in Wonderland syndrome. According to a 2016 review, the most common cause of Alice in Wonderland syndrome appear to be migraine and Epstein-Barr virus infection. In adults, uh, migraine is considered the leading cause of Alice in Wonderland syndrome and infection is considered the primary cause among children. Other infections worth mentioning are influenza, varicella, typhoid, Lyme disease and scarlet fever. Other causes are epilepsy, brain lesions, stroke, certain medications, mm. mental health conditions such as schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorders and depressive disorders. Moving on to diagnosis, there is no official criteria for diagnosing Alice in Wonderland syndrome, mainly because the condition is rare and usually short-lived. Asking about symptoms, performing neurological tests and diagnostic tests to rule out underlying serious brain-related conditions such as epilepsy, stroke, etc. is important. Finally, we have treatment options. There is um, no cure at the moment for Alice in Wonderland syndrome besides treating the underlying disease. So if migraine is the source of your symptoms, managing migraine should help. Or if infection is the cause, obviously treating the infection.